morning, everyone. This is Ron Wilkerson. I wanted to uh, do a quick video and show you guys a couple of accessories that I got for the Smooth 4 uh, smartphone gimbal. And if you guys watched my previous video, you saw the unboxing of the Smooth 4 and all of the items that came with it. One of the things that I had been thinking about when I was looking at the Smooth 4 is how I could utilize this with um, some of the corporate events that I shoot and even possibly weddings and things along that line. But one of the problems that we run into a lot of times when shooting in corporate or in weddings is that we cannot control the lighting situation. So unless you're bringing in some really large you know, equipment sometimes, it's very difficult to keep the lighting the way you want it. So I looked on Amazon and I found two items that I thought would be very beneficial and you guys are going to see the unboxing of them and me install them to see if they'll work properly along with this Smooth 4. One of the items that I got here, and I will put links in the video below as to where you can get them, is this cold shoe adapter, which would allow us to connect uh, items, you know, to a cold shoe underneath the uh, Smooth 4 itself. The second item I got was an LED light, and I'm going to see how well that'll work. This one is very inexpensive. I think both of these items combined, and I also got a hard case that has not arrived yet, but uh, most of these items are, I say, in the $20 range, so it's not going to put you guys out of pocket a lot, and you can get some really nice items to help improve the quality of your video. So let's start with the LED light and see what comes in it. So you have the light. Instructions, you know, which we almost never read, so we'll just throw those aside. And that's pretty much everything that's in the box, nothing left. So we have a mount for the light. And this would be what you would mount the light to on the cold shoe adapter. This is the light itself, very lightweight. Now these lights were designed that you could connect multiple lights. And if you see here, these little ridges on the top, the side, and this side would allow you to connect multiple lights if you wanted to. So you could have a bank of lights, you know, two or three or four or however you wanted to set them up and connect them here. So I'm assuming, let's just check real quick. This should mount. Now these are plastic. Um, maybe I'm putting it in backwards. These are plastic, so they're not, you know, made of metal. But I think they'll get the job done for the most part, you know, when it comes to, and that's how they mount together. That's pretty good. Okay. So, so far I'm happy with that. And it also comes with two filters. One is installed on it, and it also comes with an amber filter, you know, for the light, which is always a good thing to have. So let's push that to the side. And let's get a look at our cold shoe. Nothing else in the box, no instructions, but I think this will be pretty self-explanatory as to how to assemble this. Now this is metal. That's nice. And here is the cold shoe itself. So most likely you would just attach the cold shoe onto this bracket. And then you would be able to attach your light onto the cold shoe and you'd have something like that. 
So let's see what it looks like when we actually connect it to the smooth four. So if we take the smooth four, and let's say we'd be facing it in a direction that the gimbal would be forward. Let's screw that in pretty good. And for this, you know, it doesn't have to be that tight. I'm just going to go ahead and cinch it down just so it doesn't move around a lot. So you see pretty much what we have here. And that's what your light. Now this light, you can adjust the tilt. So you can tilt it forward or tilt it back. And then you can screw it down. It comes with a little screw here on the side that you can adjust that with. So what I was thinking, if we take our tripod and then screw that in, So there we have it. You'd have a light that you can control, turn on and off whenever you'd need it. And it's going to pretty much follow the direction of however you're using your gimbal. I think that's a pretty nice little setup. All right, guys, like I said, I wanted to make this a really quick video for you guys. Different accessories, you know, for the Smooth 4 gimbal. And so far, I'm very happy with it. And I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you have any questions. I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you, either uh, in the descriptions or in an upcoming video. Again, this is Ron Wilkerson, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. I'm out.